Alright, so I'm going this way, but I have no idea if this is the right way because the fucking waypoint is gone. Oh boy. I'm just gonna skip it. No, there's a wall of fire. This is the wrong way. Son of a bitch! Wrong fucking way. I don't know where Virgin is. Fuck you. How do I check my map? I have no idea how to even look at a map. Maybe it's this way. I'm just gonna keep running. Did we do it? Is this Fergan? Look what I get. <laughs> Fucking fog. <laughs> Look at it this way. You'll be able to brag about seeing the ghostly fog from the inside for the rest of your life. This is the wrong fucking way, isn't it? Yep, it's the wrong way. God damn it. I completely guessed on where I was going and apparently went the right way. But uh, now I went the wrong way. Where the fuck is he? He vanished. Over well, here. Kill him! Oh, hey, fuck. This ain't good. Stop! You're making a mistake! A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> and wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before him. <laughs> Enough! <laughs> we'll not let you inside, Fergan. And you can deliver your message to the commander of the watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plumbing typical elf. Go on, Geralt. Talk to the Virgin guards. Oh, this whole place burned down. Shit. Everyone's here fucking dead. <laughs> it killed everybody. Interesting-looking town. The dwarf town of Vergen. Why is Geralt of Rivian so chivy? Pinch me, Button, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Uh -huh. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. <laughs> I'm afraid there's no mage out there who could conjure up the Witcher's mug, <laughs> nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> yeah, Penzigrin. Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> they insult each other to compliment <laughs> each other. This man here's scaling burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate! Greetings. Chris has told me a lot about you. We merry go. Ha! How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen. This here witch has the very embodiment of chivalry. All the self cooks of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. <laughs> me, a knight. I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. Well then, listen, everyone. At the time, we were escorting Kainwani army convoys through the Sherwood forests. Aye, aye, we served Hensel once, but all was for coin. Anyways, 
The Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet and healthy as a horse. And the sorceress fell ill. Hmm. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the run. Oh. The woman needed to go every five minutes. Oh. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> but my share of gut <laughs> What the fuck? This one time, I roasted an old ailing gerbil and... Oi! You promised us a chivalrous tale. <laughs> and I'm delivering it, lad. A tale about the runs. In any case, the witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared for her, cleaned her, bathed her. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous yarping. Ah, wrong. This weren't his woman. <laughs> not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalin, don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate, a long sword in hand. It's not just about fighting duels and winning tournaments. Hmm. <laughs> I missed hearing your bullshit, Sigrun. I don't believe anyone else has tried to tell me that story. <laughs> How is the wee Mary Gold anyway? Not great. Dead. The Kingslayer kidnapped her. Oh, damn that dogs. That's downright terrible. I suppose it's no coincidence you're here. Any idea where I might find the Dun Banner? Try the Nether World. Huh. The whole unit was cut down during the battle three years ago. Oh shit. It meant the unit standard, which symbolizes death. Ah, that makes it a lot easier. We buried it with the remains of the Kedwenis. Where? Just outside Vergen. I'll mark it on your map as ah. the road could get confusing. All right. Strange things are afoot in those crypts, Witcher. Kedweni ghosts scaring off our folk. That would be normal since they were invaders. But one's some kind of amateur historian, asking all the adventure there about the battle and the Dunbanner. I'll look into it. Thanks. Okay. Triss could be somewhere in this area. Plague. I've not seen her five years, must be. Since that day they proclaimed you dead. Last saw her in Rivia, in any case. From what I've been able to establish, the Kingslayer forced her to teleport the two out to this area. Right, She's right. She's not on the other side of the fog. What did this Kingslayer look like? A huge, bald witcher. <laughs> There's a medallion with a snake on it. Still called Steve well, Austin on steroids. Doesn't even ring the tiniest bell, any of that. I might know something. This drunk in Vargan claims he saw a redhead fall from the sky somewhere among the ravines. And then he said the sorceress Philippa Eilhart came around looking for this woman. Huh. She sent her servant and some peasants to the ravines after her. But they came back empty handed. Now Philippa's servant maid's gone, leaving the sorceress angry as a wasp. She even turned one of the plebs into a pig. I spoke to one of those peasants. He claims the lass was no servant, but an Elfgardian agent. She apparently found something in those ravines. Hmm. Maybe it was Triss, and maybe it was that witcher. Madame Eilhart, or the old minx as Yarpin calls her, knows she's been duped and can't forgive herself for it. Did the woman flee south, deeper into Eden? Fucking hell! She came out the main gate not more than an hour ago. What? Headed straight for the fog. Thought she might be able to do some magic probing or whatnot. She knew a bit of magic. She might have crossed. I guess I need to visit Shiller when I get back. Huh. How's Yorbeth? Any chance I might run into him? Minimal. He follows Saskia around like a once neglected pup. Huh. Eyes on her at all He's times. He's with Saskia now. At least the lass is well protected. What do you seek from Yorbeth? Last I heard, you weren't exactly chummy. You heard right. But when I last saw him in Flotsam, he had something I need to lift the curse. Even if you see him, I doubt he'll give you anything out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps Saskia can convince him? Mm. Guess I don't have much of a choice. I 
have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths, I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? Her sword is one of those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvith and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side <laughs> and want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around. Oh, yeah, cow pies! Will succeed. I'm staying here, Yarkon. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? <laughs> Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! Problem solved. <laughs> Scalen, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia. Nice. You can try to clarify the story with a sword for her. Or whatnot. Very nice. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a mink. Cautious as a novice strumpet. I'll get you that blade if I have to shave my beard off. All right, then. See that, Scalen? We were headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. <laughs> ah, youth these days. Lacking hope and heart. You know what Zoltan and I saw in Brennerland? To us, there's no such thing as the impossible. Alright. 